Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Cam Newton, back, playing at a high level, fired up, let's break it down. Welcome to the QB School. Cam Newton is back, throwing touchdowns. We've got a little SRP. Hang with me there. Screen run pass option. My goodness, we're getting the horizontal stretch with the swing screen, the run, quarterback draw, the glance, vertical stretch on a defense. This is a thing of beauty. Pure Joe Brady college ball. See it many more places in college ball. We're getting the fast four. But we've got four eligibles over here. We're going to swing screen this, so we're blocking MDM, MDM, MDM. What does this do to the defense? Usually some sort of drastic action to go with a fast four. So we're going to kick over. Basically, we're going to get these two coming down, playing the draw. What that does now is open up the glance to the backside. So you've got horizontal stretch with the swing screen. You've got the threat of a run with the quarterback draw. And you've got the vertical stretch of a glance. That puts significant stretch on a defense. Good luck. Great play. Obviously, design, execution. you got to have someone who can do it. Also, it helps when the swing screen is McCaffrey and the quarterback is Cam Newton. That's the thing of beauty. Looks like a shortstop. Charging one. It's a big old shortstop. My goodness. What a great play. One more time. Just appreciate the stress on a defense. Pass four. Quarterback draw. Glance. Oh, Nelly. Whew. Tough. From the back end in here, we can see what it does. 52. Safety. As soon as he inserts. Now I can already hear it. Listen hard. You hear the defensive coaches whining about offensive linemen being downfield. And maybe they have a point, but that doesn't take away from Cam Newton making this thing look sweet, smooth. Love to see it. Man, did that center get smoked too? How did he end up in his rear? Nah, off balance. Love it. Great design. Next one here. A little Patriot special for Cam. A little Haas Y juke. Here it would be tailback juke. Hitches on the outside. Seams by the number two. And a little juke route by the number three. A New England special. Certainly, Cam has experience with this one. We'll be able to look at it here exactly how they did it. Talk about maybe how you know different teams read this different ways. I've read it a handful of different ways. But what exactly is the play? First of all, if you're watching this channel, you probably know. If not, we've got a hitch up top. That's the H in Haas. Okay? Help you out here. Haas. Juke. Usually run by the Y, so often referred to as Y juke right here. It's more T or tailback juke. Either way, the hitches, boom, boom. Now, it's not locked hitch, so if you get a cloud corner, you could convert this. So this is a perfect example because we get a cloud on one side and we do not get a cloud on the other. So I think down here we get a conversion. Up here we get a true hitch. So hitch. Conversion, then we get seams here, benders, seams here, and then we get the shift up here to empty, and we get the juke or the jerk. Okay, got options about what to do. Usually, okay, obviously you can throw a hitch if you're hot, if it's wide open, but usually you pick one of these seams and read it one to two. One to two. I've been some places that do it if it's open, you just go straight to the juke. I think that there are bonuses to both. I will say here, when we get any variation of what I'm going to call Tampa, so we're coming all the way across here, we're getting cloud. To me, you want to read away from the mic. The mic is almost always going to turn to the three eligible side. So if he turns this way and is running, looking this way at our juke here, coming out here, so here comes the juke. That's the mic looking for him. The bigger hole, in my opinion, is almost always going to be down here. But again, easy for me to say with a clicker, but again, just so you understand, we'll see the shell rotation, where the mic's turning, a lot of moving parts here. First the shift to empty. Now we can see the rotation to two. There it is down here at the bottom. And now, usually if you're gonna throw a bender, you wanna throw it away from that mic. So watch the mic 52 turn to the field. And there it is. You can see 11 down here at the bottom of the screen, potentially for a better, cleaner shot on the seam. Either way, it's a great shot. It's a beautiful throw. When's he let this thing go anticipation wise? Not bad. 
Again, you can see, just look at the seam window, the space of it, because of where the mic turned. Again, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work if you don't, if you love the matchup up there or whatever, but just as a pure learning thing, I feel like when you see a Tampa 2 mic or the way that the mic turns, when 52 turns to the field or to the number three eligible, that seam potentially the other side is even better. If it wasn't there, the juke is there as well. Pretty sweet that they can run a juke with a tailback. Right here, we get a little shift back in from empty to three by one, and we are running zone read lead. So the sniffer is coming across. We're also getting a crack from the wide receiver down here at the bottom. Another thing, just pure design wise from the back, when you shift in like this in the league, many people for years have done this where they put the tailback out here, depending on who's out here on the running back. If it's a DB type, it's usually zone. If it's a linebacker type, it's usually man. People have done this forever. But the other thing it does here, is it hides the split. So we come back in, now you don't realize that this is a really tight split, great for a crack block. So we get the tight split, crack, we get the zone lead, come out here to, for whoever's here, and we're reading the C-gap defender. It's a better look from the tight or from the end zone, but that's what it is. So you get that kind of crisscross, great angles for blocking, just a really well-designed play. Here comes the crack and the sniffer lead. And there it is. I mean, he doesn't even need to crack someone. He, his guy disappears. He could go up to the safety. Two's a spectator on this one. But again, nice job to see. Man, Cam's got a little boost there. Little turbo button. Whoop. Love it. He's a lot of fun to watch when he's playing at a high level. Spinning it, running it. Plays designed to take advantage of his skill set. Again, we're reading 57. See gap defender on our right. He squeezes down. It's an easy pull. And we've got the lead blocker. Kick out. Awesome. Really well designed play. Here we go all the way through. Full speed. Shift. Crack. Zone read lead. He disappears. We pull it. And it's a race to the end zone. Pretty awesome. Well-designed, awesome offensive architecture, taking advantage of what Cam does and still does and can do at a high level. Really nice. Love this little acceleration right here too. Forearm, straight arm. Love it. Having fun. Next one here, a little toss crack throwback. Getting creative. Look at this throw when McCaffrey lets this thing go. He's going to throw it back. Look where Cam is. Doesn't matter, McCaffrey throws him correct. So it's got to be backwards. He throws him backwards. <laughs> That's an unbelievable play from a running back. They actually had this thing covered pretty well. Kind of fall off a little bit at the end there with 20. He stepped out of bounds there. But design-wise, execution-wise, again, getting a chunk off a little trickeration here. Pretty sweet. Again, little things to pay attention to on these trick plays. Watch McCaffrey catch it and tuck it like he's going to run. Then come back and throw it. That really sells it. Again, big shot. Love when multiple people touch the ball. Great opportunities for big plays usually. And then we'll just say when he runs across here, you know, they're trying to take a shot to the post. It's not there. And really, the, they've got it covered pretty well right here. This is kind of a, and this is tough playing DB anytime playing DB. But on this over here, if he just stays with him, he's got it covered. But he kind of panics and feels like something's behind him, so he falls off. And that creates the space late for Cam to come back to the sideline. See that DB kind of fall off? Like he, he's panicking. It's taking too long. So the overall almost becomes a check down. Like you go post, over, post, back to the over. But again, all that's possible because of the time and what McCaffrey does here with this throw. Tuck it and throw a dime backwards. Great job by Cam finding him on the sideline. Really nice. Well-designed play. Shot. Chunk. Halftime. You dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. Then if you want to take your support to the next level, check out the quarterback school Patreon community, really trying to create the environment of what it's like in an NFL quarterback room. So breaking down all sorts of details, pass pro, coverage, route combinations, reads, footworks. If you are interested in that, long form videos, usually full games, handful of times a month. 
get over there, check that out. The link is in the description. And then if you are looking for the absolute premium content through the channel, check out the quarterback school courses. Very proud of that work. Get over there, check that out. We've got courses on pass protection, tempos, RPOs. We talk about a significant RPO in this video. And then there's how to beat every coverage. So lots of courses also have a free course. That link is in the description on the quick game. So get over there, check those out. As always, I appreciate the support. Let's keep the video going. Next one here, beautiful touchdown pass to McCaffrey on the seam from the backfield. Jet motion, basically four verticals or three verticals to a side spacing with a shallow. This is an absolute dime. Well-constructed play. I've talked about the bones of this play a number of times on this channel. If you're a frequent user, you should already be anticipating what I'm going to be saying here as far as this play is great, but there are some issues inherent with how the middle field player plays this thing. So if he's able to, you have this jet action. So we're horizontal stretching the defense here with this jet action. Depending on what this middle field player does, if he goes with that jet action and tries to fill in any way with the run, it really kind of jumbles what we're trying to do here where the ball ends up going on the seam. So the quarterback has to be really careful versus middle field close what happens here. But if he gets caught in, here's the spacing. There's the special route usually or the number three vertical. Here's the seam and here's the go. Now I like this one even better because instead of having some corner or option or out over here, they end up coming running the shallow. So really it's, do you have a shot on one of these seams? If not, the shallow's there. But it's all really predicated off what this middle field player does. He goes with this number three or the special. The special, and that thing is going to be wide open up the seam, not wide open. It's a tight window. A little anticipation over that second level. Great pass protection. Look when Cam lets it go. He's throwing it over the second level to a tailback from the backfield down the field. Just a really beautiful design. But again, one more time, watch that middle field player. You're catching it, taking the jet, faking that jet action. That middle field player goes with the number three, and there it is. Just that fast. And if it wasn't there, you didn't like it, the second level got too much depth, here comes the shallow. Going to underhand it to him. Really nice pass protection, great pocket movement. But at the end of the day, that's a special tailback and a great throw. A little touch up and down. Really nice job. Great job by Cam. Great catch. My goodness. What a nice touchdown. Well-designed play. Now, there's some rough fourth downs here to close this thing out. This can be a handful of different things here for me. You know, I don't necessarily love what they're trying to do schematically here. But late to the flat on a fourth and three, yeah, throwing it to your best player. For me, it just comes off a little late more than anything else. He's obviously trying to work that shallow, but the timing of this thing, the footwork, it's a nice play defensively too, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure what the matchup is that they're trying to take advantage of here. They're getting basically doubled on that shallow where it looks like Cam is looking, and then he's basically throwing a late check down flat to McCaffrey. So to me, whether this is an in, a basic, whatever this thing is up top, so here's the shallow. It's doubled. There's somebody covering him, and there's like a rat or thief in the middle. So there's two there. Maybe if this was an in, but it almost looks like a hook or curl, which is tough in man coverage. As everybody's tight, everybody's snugged up. You can see, you know, this is going to be tight coverage. There's not going to be a whole lot of space to then at the end of the day get to essentially a check down that really gets doubled two or half doubled, one and a half, because they've got these defensive ends taking a shot here. When he comes off so as much as i'm going to praise the scheme when it works well you know not a lot of winners here no rub routes you know what, what are you supposed to do with it watch mccaffrey come off the line gets a little rerouted the shallow's not there you know, whatever that is up top it's not there Whew, tough nice to even get a completion to be honest with you just be a little late which makes him come back to the wrong side of the sticks I like what they're doing, moving the back from side to side, but then the defensive end sees it, 95 sees it, and gets hands on. And then this is just me, but something, you know, I don't know. I, I certainly have never watched Cam do like any of the 3D quarterback stuff. 
but we talk a, a little bit on this channel about head movement and your eyes staying balanced. To me, watching Cam more than just about any other quarterback in real time, not slowing it down like this, but he's got significant head movement with like his whole head jerks to the left. And sure enough, he makes a number of good throws in this game. But to me, it's one of the few quarterbacks that when you watch it, you can almost see it in real time. Next drive here, second and short. This is a beautiful comeback. Five-step drop, hitch, let it rip. Again, watch the head movement. See, just kind of like more violent than most people to the side. To me, one of the very few guys that I can see in real time look like this. Now, this is a beautiful throw. Don't get it twisted. It doesn't mean that you can't make accurate throws. Watch when he lets this thing go. Timing-wise, hit his back foot. Five and from gun, lined up, sort of. Anticipation. He separates right there. The wide receiver at the bottom of the screen is not out of the break. Beautiful strike on the sideline. Just an absolute dime of a throw. Love to see him drive the ball down the field outside the numbers. But again, I just, I don't know if it's just me or what. Maybe I don't notice it with other people, but just significant, just kind of torque to the left. And I always feel like you have that much head movement, it's going to be hard to be consistently accurate. You're moving your head to the left, the ball's going to go to the left. Fourth and two here to close this thing out, and just you can't take a sack here. Again, you know, I will say also, you know, not being in the quarterback room, not going to pretend to know what the read is here but I definitely don't love the drop tethered to these routes. What do I mean by that? I mean, it's fourth and two, three, and we're taking a five-step drop from gun. That's not for me. There's no reason to do that. Also, you know, I think this is uh, a somewhat common complaint about Cam that he will get himself into trouble. Just stay in the pocket. There's no reason to take off right there, let things develop, get through your read, I get it. He sees that hole. He thinks he can get it himself. That's you got to live with that as a guy who's a playmaker who can get things done with his feet. But man, that thing closed on him fast, and you just cannot, cannot take a sack on fourth down, especially fourth down, and the game's over. Now, where are you supposed to go with the ball? The only place that is a first down winner is the slot up top, but that is a three yard quick out. To me, you don't have a chance to throw a three yard quick out. When you're in a five-step drop, watch when he hits the back of his five steps. One, two, three, four, five. That quick out's already out of the break. It's way out of the break. He's not even looking there. So if you're going to work that up top, that needs to almost be a shuffle, a one-step, or a three at the most. There's nothing there. There's no winners. There's no man beaters. There's no picks. I mean, man beaters, sure. There's runaways. But nobody's winning. Where, where would you go with the ball? Where, where are you supposed to go with the ball at the end of his drop? Maybe down here at the bottom of the screen, 80. Again, that this is my complaint when I'm saying, you know, don't get yourself in trouble by going to the rush. Just stay in the pocket, stay in your landmark, and get through the read. Two out of the five routes are first downs. Now, if you're working the three and the two over the ball from on the left side, you're in trouble. It's bad. But could he go, you know, down here? One to two to three down here at the bottom of the screen? Yes. That's a first down. That needs to happen. It doesn't mean it's easy. But you can't take a sack on fourth down like that. Tough to see him, you know, make so many great throws, use his feet, some well-designed plays. Man, that's a tough one to finish on. So that is a wrap. Cam Newton playing really, really well. Fun to see him throw the ball like he is, look healthy, all sorts of good stuff. Fun to see the Carolina Panthers kind of operate in that world. Felt a little flashbacky to me. So hopefully you dug it. Hopefully they find a way to get it done with the W soon as well. As always, I appreciate your support. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Welcome to 2B Show.